So my name is Melinda Leno, and I'm going to be talking to you all about two-step equations. So before we get started on what two-step equations look like, there are a couple of terms that you should know before we get started. So one of them is variable. Uh, Graciela, can you tell me what a variable is? It's the unknown letter that it is. All right. Yeah. So a variable is the symbol that we give an unknown number. Coefficient. Uh, James, can you tell me what a coefficient is? Um, is it like the n? Uh, no, that is a variable. So the coefficient is what goes in front of the x. So let's say we have three x. The three is the coefficient. So the last one is the golden rule. And Blair, can you explain to me what the golden rule is? Um, doesn't it mean that like whatever that sentence is written should be there? Perfect. So that is what the golden rule is. So to kind of illustrate that for you, I have a scale. So there are there's one big green block on one side with four small purple ones. And on the other, there are five small purple blocks. Okay? So we don't know how much the green block weighs yet, but a good way to figure out how that is is to kind of get rid of one block at a time. So we get one same block, I'm going to have to keep them balanced. Okay? And then we do the same thing over here, over there, over there. And finally, the last purple block is on the side, and one more on the other side. So after keeping this scale balanced, you can see that this green block weighs as much as one. Okay? So, there are two steps in the two-step equation. It's in the name. So step one is to get the variable and the numbers on different sides. And step two is to get the coefficient to equal to one. So here's an example of what a two-step equation is. And uh, James, can you tell me how do we get rid of the six? Subtract it from both sides of the equation. Yeah, because you can go the rule. Yeah. So the sixes cancel out. Nine. So then what do we do to get that alone? Blair? You add both sides by three. Right. Two, two, three cancel out. X equals three. Right. Okay. So I have one final equation. So uh Graciela, can you tell me what the coefficient in this equation is? Yes, yeah, the five. Okay, so that is a coefficient. And Jamie, what's the, what is the variable in this um, equation? So the variable x. Yeah, correct. Okay. So uh, Blair, yeah. what do we do first? Subtract the five from both sides. Mm -hmm. The fives cancel out. James, what are you left with? Five x is equal to five. All right. So how do we get x alone? So, Graciela, can you tell me what x equals? x equals y. Great. All right. So, if we don't remember what two steps are and how to solve them, I've come up with a little cheer. Now, it's set up to the tune of a tongue talk, but I'm going to slow it down so we can kind of memorize it. So, it starts like this. Before we start, let me tell you a little something. <laughs> Move the variables side to side, and you repeat that twice. And then you say, move the numbers side to side, and you repeat that twice as well. I said, move them side to side, repeat twice. Come on, work it out, set the stage, and solve it. If you know, then do it. Those two steps, and we own it. Don't believe us? Just watch. Don't believe us? Just watch. Come on, don't believe us? Just watch. Variables go on one side. Whoop. Numbers go on the other side. Because <laughs> the coefficient is going to equal 1. Because the coefficient is going to equal 1. So it's two steps going to solve for it. And that's 